Hello, my name is Michael DiDonato. Uh, we're letting people into this presentation and I'll give it another few seconds to see who else uh, may be joining us. Lauren Simpson will be quiet during this session. She's actually on another session right now. I'm not sure what GB is. He normally joins us for these sessions. I will give you an introduction to the SBDC if you haven't heard about us. And I'm also going to be talking about retirement plans. So the SBDC is a national program. It is just about a thousand centers across the nation. The SBDC is funded by a grant, a grant from the Small Business Administration, as well as a grant from the state of California. The SBDC is supported by colleges and universities throughout the country. Within the LA region, I think we have eight centers, 200 advisors, all of whom are specialists and experts and seniors in their field. We have specialists in marketing, we have specialists in finance, accounting, strategy, human resources. So all aspects of business is covered through the resources of the SBDC. And our services are at no cost to you because it's paid for by your taxpayer dollars. We have no ax to grind, okay? You may see a few of us on camera during weekly sessions, but keep, please keep in mind that there are a number of other people who don't appear on camera who have lots of valuable skills, knowledge, and experience to share with you. Today, I'm going to be reviewing retirement plans. Now, I am not an expert retirement plan in retirement planning, but I will share with you information that I have regarding retirement plans. Before we do that, I want to very briefly discuss the elephant in the room, and that has to do with the failure of the Silicon Valley Bank and another bank, and now the troubles uh, that are facing Credit Suisse. I'm not sure if all of you are on top of this topic. What happened essentially is Silicon Valley Bank was investing, so to speak, providing loans to tech startups, and it invested a large amount of money into bonds that were paying low interest rates. And as this interest rates declined, they didn't refresh their portfolio. And so people can now buy bonds because interest rates are climbing uh, that offer higher interest rates. So the prices for the bonds that SVB had were quite low. So they had to sell those bonds at a loss, which then led to a lot of panic selling, uh, basically no fashion run at the bank. And that's why SVB, SVB failed. However, the FDC, FDIC has stepped in and is backstopping all deposits. It's not going to bail out the investors in the business, but anyone who had deposits uh, will be covered so that the janitors and other personnel that were working at the small startup and not so small startups will get paid appropriately. So our federal government is, is handling that matter. There are about eight other banks that have risk portfolios that have been identified. And uh, that list is available publicly. You can search for it. But again, I don't believe that there's going to be a huge impact because the FD, FDIC will step in and handle matters. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. If you have any comments about that, please put it into the Q&A and questions in the Q&A. I'm not going to be able to monitor the chat and the Q&A at the same time. I appreciate that. Brief background, I've been an advisor since 2016 with the SBDC. I have a legal background and a finance background. I have an advanced finance degree and a law degree. And I have my own consulting company where I help people buy and sell companies, help people raise money. I work out of multiple SBDCs, including Long Beach City College, and that's why you see the Long Beach City College background behind me. This may not take an hour, depends on your questions, but we'll go through it. So I've already given you my background and we're gonna go through retirement plans. So it's crucial for anyone who wants to live a comfortable life after their working years. Now there's all different types of retirement plans. 
We have solo 401ks, which is a subset of 401ks. We have Cal Savings. We have IRA accounts. We have Roth accounts. We have 403Bs for nonprofits. If you're not familiar with these terms, we'll, we'll go through it. I'm sure most of you are familiar with 401k plans, but you may not be familiar with 403B plans. That's the equivalent for nonprofits. So first we have to talk about a defined plan versus an undefined plan. So a defined retirement plan is a plan in which the benefits are predetermined, and it's based upon salary and years of service. It's a pension plan. That's what a defined plan is, okay? You have employees that sponsor it, and people get a specific retirement benefit amount. So for example, firefighters, when they retire, will get a pension. And if you have X amount of years of service, that pension is defined. Now. I do realize that in many states that the, there's unfunded pension liabilities that need to be addressed by governmental agencies. That is true. And that's a huge issue at the state level and at the county level, okay? And then there's the defined plan. So we have an undefined plan and defined plan, right? So defined plans include 401k plans, IRAs, et cetera. The, with these plans, employees put in contributions, employers may put in contributions, and the employer, the employee has the decisions over the investments, but it's the employer who decides what plans are put in place. Okay, so you're managing the money, so to speak, for your investment. But with a pension plan, that is not true. Uh, the pension plan is just going to pay you an amount at the end of so many years of service when you retire. So key characteristics regarding these plans. Um, the employers are responsible for funding the plan. Okay. Uh, when it comes to a pension. So there should be a pension fund that is managed by the organization or agency that's handling the plan, the funds. For example, CalPERS. That's a pension plan. It's being managed by professional managers, okay? Um, now, for employees, when it comes to 401k, et cetera, you're managing the funding. You're managing how much you're putting in. You're managing the way it's gonna be invested. And if you're not familiar with investment options, always speak to a professional who can help you understand your investment options, okay? And that's also true for IRAs and Roth plans. Now, the tax consequences to you and to employers depends on what type of plan we're talking about. So with a 401k plan, it's an employer-sponsored retirement plan that allows employees to make contributions from their pre-tax, notice pre-tax income. That means you're not paying as much in tax when you're an employee contributing to it. But as an employer, you will be contributing to that plan possibly, it's not a requirement. And if you're contributing to that plan, you get a tax deduction. Now there's certain rules regarding top heaviness. You can't have a 401k plan in this test that I've done every year, where the top tier of your company is putting in the contributions and the lower tier is not. That, that's a top heavy plan. I've been involved in situations where I personally had had money refunded back to me because we had a top heavy plan, wasn't deliberate at the company I worked at. It's just that it was hard to convince the lower, lower tier employees to contribute to the plan. So, because to be honest, they need money for other things, pay for mortgages, monthly operating, monthly operating expenses for their own households, et cetera. However, trying to convince them to put money into a 401k plan is hard. CalSavers came out recently and CalSavers requires you as employers to put a retirement plan in place. Now you can use the CalSavers plan that the state has set up or you can put in a similar plan, but it's a requirement. You're not required to contribute to the plan, but you're required to offer the plan. Now, let's talk about the 401k contribution limits. For those of you who, for any employee, 
under the age of 50, the contribution limit at 2021 is 19,500. I didn't check to see uh, what the current amount is. I don't know that, I don't know that it's changed. For individuals age 50 and over, there's also a catch-up contribution limit of 6,500 in addition to the regular contribution limits. So that sums to a total of $26,000 every year. And these limits apply to the traditional 401k plans and the Roth 401k plans. And you as an employer can contribute up to the, the limits, no, no problem, or even more. So this is talking about the contributions put in by the employees. Let me move on from there. Now, many of you might be interested in what is referred to as a solo 401k plan. And I'd be curious, uh, would you please put it into the chat room of actually the Q&A, whether or not you have set up a solo 401k plan. This is a retirement plan designed specifically for self-employed individuals or small business owners who have no employees except for a spouse. And maybe some of you are in that situation. So this allows you to make contributions as both an employee of your business as well as the employer. So it essentially is doubles the amount that you can contribute to the plan. And the contributions are tax deductible. So you defer taxes on any earnings until you withdraw them from retirement. If you have not heard of the of solo 401k plan, you should talk to your investment advisor are your tax uh, preparer about setting one up. So these are the contribution limits for a solo 401k. It depends upon your age and income. So for individuals under age of 50, the total contribution limit is $58,000, which includes both the employee salary deferrals and the employer contributions, and you are your own employer, okay? For individuals over age 50, there's a catch-up contribution limit of 6,500 in addition to the regular contribution. So now we're talking about a total of $64,000 that you could put towards a solo 401k plan. And that's why it's so important to understand this particular option for you. Now, it depends upon self-employment income. Employee salary deferrals are limited to 100% of earned income that's on the employee side, you as an employee, <clears throat> while employer contributions are limited to 25% of compensation. And the solo 401k plans must be established by the end of the calendar year to be eligible for contributions for that year. So you had them in place for 2022 as of December 31st, 2022. For this year, you have plenty of time to put into place. Uh, let me go here, let me move down. Now, you can actually offer a traditional 401k plan as an employer and a Roth 401k plan. That is permitted. So you can have two 401k plans in place for your business. And that gives a lot of flexibility because employees, and you might be your own employee, can contribute to both types of plans. And it gives them a lot of flexibility when managing the tax liability. With a traditional plan, Contributions are made with pre-tax dollars. Um, so they are tax deductible in the year they're made. But withdrawals at taxes are an income when you go to retire. But with a Roth plan, contributions are made with after-tax dollars, okay? They're not tax deductible, so it's after-tax dollars. But when you withdraw from a Roth plan, um, it's tax-free when you retire. So by contributing to both types of plans, you can choose which account to draw from in retirement based upon your tax situation, it's very flexible. Um, so for example, if you happen, happen to be in a higher tax bracket in retirement, you might wanna prioritize contributions to a Roth plan to avoid paying higher taxes on withdrawals. Conversely, if you expect to be in a lower tax bracket in retirement, you might wanna prioritize contributions to a traditional 401k plan to take advantage of the tax deductions in the current year. Now, if you're an employer and you think about offering these types of plans to employees, it's best to bring in the plan sponsor so they can provide the information and explanation of how these plans work. You 
should not be giving out any investment advice. You're going to be subject to liability. So you as an employer should never provide investment advice to employees. If anyone ever comes to you and says, how should I invest my money? Your response should always be consult with a tax professional, consult with a professional uh, financial advisor, because otherwise you're going to be subject to potential losses should that investment, those investments go bad. And quite honestly, that's what I had for today. So I want to know if there's any questions. I didn't talk about Roth accounts. Roth accounts are retirement saving accounts that allow you to make after-tax contributions and withdraw money tax-free during retirement. And again, there's Roth 401k plans and, plans and Roth 403, 403b plans. Um, I didn't, I don't think I talked about IRAs. IRAs are individual retirement accounts. It's a retirement savings account that allows you to save money for retirement on a tax advantage basis. There's two types of IRAs, traditional IRAs and Roth IRAs. So this is for individuals, not for businesses. Traditional IRAs allow you to make tax deductible contributions and defer taxes on any earnings until you withdraw them during retirement. Roth IRAs allow you to make after tax block contributions and, and withdraw money tax free during retirement. All right. So there's a lot of options here. And you should understand the options that are available to you and to your employees. So I will stop there and I will ask if there's any questions regarding what I just presented, because it's a lot of information. You have 401k plans, you have IRA plans. You have Roth plans, you have Roth 401k plans. So it's a lot to try to figure out. I see some Q&As. So I have a 401k employer single through Fidelity. Roth 401k is not available. Where and how I can open one? Well, talk to your, talk to your investment advisor or make an appointment with SBDC advisor. I can't, I'm not gonna give out recommendations right now. I'm, I don't know of all the places that can offer you a Roth 401k plan. Uh, I came in a little late. Could you do this as a sole proprietor or an LLC? Yes, you can set up a solo 401k plan for yourself. Uh, and it's a good thing to do, Darcy, absolutely. And so I didn't get any answers. I'm wondering how many of you have set up a 401k plan for yourself, a solo 401k plan? I'd be curious to see that. The other thing is, and I didn't talk about Cal Savers. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, you can put that in the Q&A. So the state of California now requires employers, I think if you have, if you have more than four or five employees, to offer a retirement plan. It's mandatory to do that. And you can offer a 401k plan. However, if you don't want to do that, the state has set up an agency and a retirement plan called CalSavers. And if you haven't done it, you're gonna be subject to fines and penalties. So you should look up CalSavers and go ahead and set up an account and get your employees set up so they can contribute to the CalSavers plan. Now, you don't have to contribute to the CalSavers plan, but, you might want to consider it if you don't have a plan for yourself, okay? Any other questions I can address? No. Well, I'm going to stop this share and I'm going to share something else with you if you give me a minute. I apologize for the wait. Although I know this information, in order to create this presentation, it took me all of 10 minutes. For those of you who have not heard of Chat GPT, I'm going to expose it to you right now. Chat GPT is an artificial intelligence. And now there's many other options for you to gather information and garner information from artificial intelligence. I used Chat Sonic which is built on ChatGPT and has some other protocols with it. I'm gonna share my screen with you so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is ChatSonic, this is free to use, it doesn't cost any money. And by the way, ChatGPT 
has now come out with chat GPT-4, which, not, which is not yet available to the general public. I typed in one question, one query here. I said, please write a marketing plan for a beekeeping business. Within about 10 seconds, it created this. Now, if you're a marketing specialist, you're going to say that's kind of generic. Yeah, it is. But it can cut down on the amount of time it takes to create a presentation and information. You should become very familiar about how Jet GPT and other artificial intelligence works. And Microsoft is investing in Chat GPT, and Microsoft is building in artificial intelligence into its web browser. And I'm going to show you how quickly this can work. Please create a presentation on how to create, how to generate social media content calendars. I misspelled that. I know that. Let's see if it understands it. Yep. Look how quickly it comes back with the answers. So if you have not yet been exposed to artificial intelligence, chat GPT, or one of its alternatives like this one, I suggest, I suggest that you take advantage of this. It's going to cut down your the amount of time it takes for you to create content dramatically. And you can see an example here, right? A Facebook ad for Chat Sonic. Let's do that. And I'm going to let it go. There you go. And by the way, with regards to this particular intelligence, you can select what type of mode you wanted it as a travel guide or as a stand up kitty medium. I find this actually to be a little bit better than chat GPT because it gives you these types of options off the bat. Okay. So I'm going to recommend to you that you do a lot of searching and testing out uh, these types of intelligences. The one I use was chat Sonic and there's also chat GPT and there's many of many others out there. Um, so any questions about that? please put it into the Q&A. No? Well, I'm not gonna keep you here for another you know, half an hour. I just wanted to get the information out regarding the retirement plans. We're here to help you. Hopefully GB will be back next week. And I'm hoping that you'll be able to make a solid decision in regards to retirement plans by speaking to a professional financial advisor. And I'm hoping that you'll be able to take advantage of these new artificial intelligence options. How do we get chat song? Yeah, you just Google it and you'll find it. And yes, they are free. I did not have to pay anything for to access chat GPT or chat Sonic or any of the artificial, some of them charge, but not the one I just showed you. And it's yes, it's available to you. And Darcy, Amazon announced being able to use ChatGPT. Everyone's going to be incorporating intel artificial intelligence into their businesses, especially the larger ones. Google's going to do it. Everybody's going to do it. And you should take advantage of it because it is a these are wonderful tools to enhance your productivity. And I hope you take advantage of it. If there's no other questions, I want to thank you for your time today, and I hope you have an enjoyable week, and we'll be back here next week with another business topic. Thank you so much for your attention, and bye now.